Bungie has just dropped the first patch notes of the final shape, or at least the first big update we have here. We're gonna go ahead and see everything that they're fixing, all the bugs that we have in the final shape that have now been patched with the most recent update. Obviously the game had to go down for like three plus hours just to take care of all this stuff and launch the new season. So we got activities, PVP, we have fixed an issue in collision. We're capturing the zone while at full super energy would slightly reduce super energy, interesting. The Pale Heart, the sky has now changed in the Pale Heart after the events of Salvation's Edge being completed. That makes sense, obviously, you know, after the monolith has been destroyed and all that. Requires players to have completed the campaign to see the sky has changed. Interesting. So they don't want to give any spoilers for people out there that haven't done it yet. And then we have fixed an issue where the moat counter status UI would sometimes not appear with the moat collection encounter in the impasse location. Got it. That's good. And then fix an issue where certain elements of the liminality strike would not load upon entering the first area of the abscess. Very good. That moat collection thing was, uh, some people get bugged when they kill that huge meatball guy and it takes all 17 of theirs when they're trying to do their Kvostov quest. And keep in mind that all he does is he actually launches it way out into the stratosphere. You have to go searching for it. Campaign, we have fixed issue in campaign lost sectors that would prevent combatants and objectives from spawning. Got it. And then we have fix an issue that could occur when the final encounter in the Iconoclasm mission. I'll fix a crash that could occur, got it. And then we have fixed an issue where the art shown in director dialogues when exiting the final shape campaign was not appearing correctly. And then onslaught, fix an issue where turret upgrade costs were referencing decoy upgrade costs. Really, an update in onslaught? Who's playing onslaught right now? We got raids and dungeons. Salvation's Edge, fixed issue where the Salvation's Edge carry stat tracker did not properly increment. Good. And then we have Triumphs here. Fixed an issue where Strand Triumphs added from previously ship uh, raids that had missing strings and UIs. Pathfinder, fixed an issue where Grenade Ascension had an incorrect objective string and game plan investment general. Fixed an issue where the risky archery emote would cause players to become invisible. Good to know. And I've been having that happen a lot where people go invis, like the whole player model is bugged out. Abilities fix an issue where the knock him down aspect was not increasing the number of projectiles fired by a blade barrage. And fix an issue where the blade fury super was not granting woven mail to nearby allies in PVP with the into the fray aspect equipped. That's unfortunate. It's good that's fixed. Thankfully it was a PVP thing, not a PV thing. That would be terrible. Fix an issue where players weren't granted the prismatic subclass if they missed a required cinematic. That's so that's bad. That is very unfortunate. We're still investigating an issue where players do not unlock prismatic if they play the transmigration mission with a player who has already unlocked prismatic. That's still a little bug in there they're working on. Armor, we have fixed an issue where players could bypass Lucky Pants cooldown by unequipping and re-equipping the armor. And then we have fixed an issue where with an incorrect description for the arms reach armor mod. Um, a fix to the lucky pants or at least maybe to swapping to your lucky pants with loadouts weapons we have fixed an issue where the non-denouement bow had the wrong damage profile interesting that's the bow from the raid we'll have to check out what it's got and then fixed an issue where magnificent how could be active for an extended duration there's a thing you could do you could like swap something and if you had double perks on mag how and it would just stay like infinite timer Fix an issue where the cost for purchasing the legendary version of Kvostov from collections was lower than intended. There you go. That's everything from the patch notes. Destiny 2 update 003 is out. Make sure to get that before you go live or else it won't launch you in the game. Some good changes there. And that's wrap on the news. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.